Hi, honey. I brought our daughters for a visit. Say hello to mom, girls. Hello, mom. Mom, we miss you so much. I dream about you a lot these days. Yeah, we wish we could see you every day. Have breakfast, clean the house, and go shopping with you. Mom, you know I got an A in math yesterday. Me too. I got an A in biology and was also praised by the teacher. Mom, we miss everything about you. Your voice, your way of teaching us, and the food you cooked. I wish you were here with us. Oh, sweeties. She is always around us. She will always be in here and here. I understand, Dad. Now let's go home. Bye, Bye Mom. Mom. Goodbye, honey. We love you. Excuse me, can you please help me? Sure, what's the problem? My car broke down. What happened? It won't start and it's been making very weird noises. Let me see. Megan, Brenda. Yes, Dad? Get in the car, please. I'm going to check this lady's car quick. Yes, Dad. Thanks in advance. No problem. When did you buy this car? I just bought it three months ago. Oh, so the car is new. Oh, no. I bought this car from my friend. So it's a used car? Yeah, right. Can you help me pop the hood and start the car? Sure. Well, maybe your battery needs replacing. Really? Yeah, you also have a coolant leak and your carburetor needs adjusting. That's bad. What should I do now? I think you should call a mechanic. You're right. I'll call a tow truck and a mechanic. So, who are you visiting today? Well... I'm visiting my mother, who passed away 12 years ago. I'm so sorry to hear that. No problem. How about you? I take my children to visit my wife. My wife passed away from cancer. Sorry to hear this. It's okay. What about you? Are you married? I have divorced my husband for two years, and my son turned six last month. Well, the tow truck is here. Thank you very much. No problem. I have to go now. Bye. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. Let me introduce our new team member, Miss Julie Jones. Good morning. It's really nice to meet everyone. Hey, it's amazing to see you here. Me too, it's nice to see you again. So, would you like to have lunch with me? Great, let's go. So, how was your car? It was perfectly fixed. It's good to hear that. Well, the group manager told me that you would be my mentor for the first two months of the training. That's right. I will be your mentor on the digital marketing module. Have you had any prior experience? I have a basic knowledge of how SEO works and have done content writing for several firms. Awesome. I have been working for six years in this domain, so should be able to guide you well. Thanks a lot, Eric. I'm so lucky to work with you here. Don't mention it. You'll get along soon.
Hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. Hi, Brenda. Hello, Megan. Where have you been? Why are you so late? Dad, I have good news for you. Oh, yeah? But wash your hands first. We'll eat and talk. Yes, Dad. Okay, tell me the good news. Megan and I passed the selection for national badminton competitions. Wow, I'm so happy to hear that. So when will the competition begin? Next month. So you and Megan have to practice hard. Yeah, right. Well, I also have something to say. What's that, Dad? This weekend, I want to invite a friend from work to our house for dinner. Sure, Dad. Who is he? He's a she. A female colleague. Yes. What's wrong? Oh, n nothing. Did you just buy this shirt? Yes. What do you think? You've been buying a lot of new clothes lately. I have? Yeah. You used to hate wearing shirts, although mom bought you a lot. You never wore them. But now... What do you mean, Megan? I don't mean anything. What are you thinking, Megan? We're just colleagues. Just colleagues? Yes. Whatever. I don't like her. Megan. Megan, what's wrong? Why are you upset with dad? Can't you see how our dad has changed lately? How? Dad dresses better. Hmm, you're right. Of course, and he goes out more often. Hey, I remember seeing him smiling while texting once. Oh, really? Yeah, but what about that? You're so stupid. He has someone else, a new woman. Really? Who's she? The one that Dad invited over for dinner this weekend. But Dad said she was just a colleague. You're the only one who believes that. So you're upset because he has a new girlfriend? Yes. Why? You're still young and stupid. If he has a girlfriend, he will forget about our mother. And soon he won't care about us either. Really? That's bad. No one is allowed to take the place of our mother. So what should we do? We're gonna ruin the dinner. This dish is so delicious. I know it is. Our mom taught me how to make it. It's so good. Can you teach me how to make this pie? No way. This is the recipe my mother came up with. It cannot be given to others. Megan. She was such a good cook. If our mother were still alive. You too. Be quiet and eat your meal. Yes, Dad. Miss Julie, do you know how to embroider? I do not know. Our mother embroidered that picture. Looks very nice, doesn't it? Yes, it looks very nice. Our mother was a talented woman. Megan, Brenda, that's enough. Where are you going? I just need some water. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Julie. I didn't mean to spill water on you. It's okay. It's okay. Megan, why are you so careless? I didn't mean to do that. Julie, I'll go get a towel. Dad, wait. Dad! Dad! 
What should we do now? It was my fault. Dad, wake up. All right, keep calm. I will call an ambulance. Miss Julie, we have something to say. Sure, tell me. Miss Julie, we would like to apologize to you for our behavior. Yeah, you've taken great care of Dad lately, and you also take care of us. We don't know what we'd do without you. It's okay. You know, my mother also passed away when I was young. Oh, we didn't know that. Yeah, we're so sorry to hear that. At that time, my father also had a girlfriend. Like you guys, I absolutely hated her. Wow, just like us. But then, I saw my dad doing everything all by himself. I realized how selfish I was. He deserved to have someone to take care of him, someone always by his side. He needed a companion. So you supported your dad having another woman? Yes, and I'm happy to know that I made the right decision. Now he has a happy life. And we never forget about my mother. We still visit her grave often. I know she is also happy seeing my dad move on. We understand now. Miss Julie, when our dad gets better, do you want to come over and make apple pie with us? I would love to.